Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Start off in the way, you know, I've been working and stuff, but anyway, man, we're back to it. We're on the Hisense H9G. Uh, this isn't the U8G uh, that just recently um, came out. This is a 2020 Hisense uh, H9G. So, uh, in today's episode, uh, we're just going to be doing a couple of tests here. So, I want to do a great um, uniformity test, you know, for a dirty screen effect and uh, things like that. And uh, vertical bending, I just want to see if my panel is clean. And we're going to do some more tests as well after this. So uh, this will be the, u the uniformity test uh, first. So without further ado, just YouTube clip. We're just going to roll a YouTube clip here. I just want you guys just to pay attention to the um, the the, the, ver the vertical bending and the DSE or dirty screen effect. As you can see, um, there is a couple... Uh, vertical, vertical bands there uh, slight bands and the screen is kind of dirty um, I don't know how this got how this look on you guys set but this is a 20% now <laughs> 25% let me pause there Pause right there. All right, so as you can see, um, kind of in the center. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera, but I can see um, here from my own eyes. Uh, the vertical bands are definitely noticeable. Um, they're very noticeable here. So, I like I said, uh, this might vary um, with each set. So, I don't know how this will uh, look on you guys' set, but. As far as uh, DSE uh, on my set, I do have vertical banding and I do have a little bit of dirty screen effect. And I don't know if you guys can see, it doesn't pick up on camera, but on each corner, uh, one, two, three, four, I have what you call vignetting. It's like the, the corners are kind of darkened or black. I don't know if that's a panel issue or that's just on my set, but yeah. So the next test we're gonna do is motion. So without further ado, let's get that started. All right, you guys, so this test is a um, 60 FPS um, motion test. I want to test the motion also for this TV. If you guys are really new to this TV, and I'm gonna just be bluntly honest with you, um, the, mo the motion on the, the Hisense H9G, the 2021 model, not the UAG of 2021, but last year's 2020, um, the motion is very mediocre, so don't expect um, really good motion at like Sony or LG. I mean, it's it's good, but it could be better. So I'm gonna show you guys the settings here I'm rocking with, with motion. Uh, these are custom settings, but um, so we're gonna motion here, we're gonna custom. I click on custom and I have my jitter reduction set to 10 and my blur reduction set to five. So I just wanna see how that will react in like uh, real world usage uh, content. So we're gonna roll this. As you can see, uh, it's very choppy. And there's a lot of juggler, even, even though I um, adjusted the motion settings, it's still juttery. It's not buttery smooth like it should be. Again, this all comes down to processing uh, of the TV. And you do get what you pay for, so. I mean, it's not bad to the point where like you have to, you can't watch anything. I mean, it's really just low bitrate content, you know, like 24 um, frames per second or things like that. But still, as you can see, it's kind of skipping across the, uh, the screen instead of just being a, a smooth motion. All right, you guys, so this test is gonna be a picture quality Richard quality test of the high sense of H9G uh, 2020 model. So what I did was a couple days ago, uh, this TV was doing something weird. Uh, it kept like shutting off apps and weird things. So what I did was I factory resetted it. So um, 
I completely wiped everything, the firmware update and what was on it. So I don't know if that's gonna help with local dimming uh, and, back, and local dimming or black levels. Um, as you guys knew before, uh, my mom said the blooming was kind of bad. So uh, I just want you guys to pay attention to this video as I roll this, uh, this uh, HDR clip. So obviously we're in HDR theater mode here. So contrast is 80. Brightness is at 48, and the reason I have my brightness so low is because anything above 53 brightness would start to create this, this filmic like haze on the image. So I try to I mitigate that, and I have my brightness to 48 to get the, the inky blacks. And obviously, the back, the local dimming is at the high. Colors at 60. Uh, advanced settings here. Uh, color temperature is low because you know uh, this theater. You know, a warm color temperature is really ideal for movies. It kind of gave it a more cinematic look. And uh, motion enhancement, we're gonna go to, uh, let's go to film for that. And uh, noise reduction is medium, digital noise reduction is medium, and active contrast, so we can set that's uh, high as well. So without further ado, uh, let's roll this clip. Hope you guys enjoyed this segment of the video. I just want you guys to pay attention to blooming and um, spe specular highlights. As you can see, no blooming so far. As you can see, dark, rich colors. Uh, the contrast is really good. Um, in real life here, let me turn on the volume just a tad bit. Uh, I can notice some, some small blooming around the edges of uh, the object shown on the panel. Obviously, the camera really is not gonna pick that up because the limited dynamic range you know, of the camera, but in real world, um, my eyesight, I can kind of see blooming around the objects. It's not bad, it's not a deal breaker, but it is noticeable. So this is a full full array local dimming, a uh, fully rate, fully um, full array local dimming set. Sorry, <laughs> the words got twisted there. But as you can see, a white object coming on back black background. That's a scratch test for LCD. You know that that put those uh, local dimming zones to work. But as you can see, the the contrast and the colors are really good. So. As you can see, the detail is really good for a premium set. Inky blocks. That's it, you guys, for the picture quality test for the Hotsend H9G. All right, you guys, so this test here, we're gonna be doing a sound test, uh, Dolby Atmos. Uh, we're in a theater mode sound. You have different sound modes, standard theater, sports, music, uh, speech, and late night. So this will be ideal for like movies and things like that. And as you can see, Dolby Atmos is enabled. So without further ado, let's roll this clip. I just want you guys to pay attention to the clarity and overall bass and deepness of the, uh, the video. So let me turn this up a bit.
AC, dark, rich, um, rich sounds. I said dark, I mean rich sounds here. The bass is really good. Alright you guys, we're we'll playing some Outriders for the last segment of the video. Hope you guys enjoy this last clip. Uh